Okay, plunging stocks and recession fears. Is there anything that can be done to protect uh, money? Well, this is what I'm personally doing. This isn't financial advice, and you would want to always do your homework. This is simply food for thought, entertainment, what I'm personally doing. And I have a few uh, pieces of tidbits that I'm looking at. So first of all, you would... Um, what I would what I would do with all these things that are happening, you got the, well, you know, there's all these recession fears because of the COVID and because of what's going on in Ukraine, and then there's even nuclear words, nuclear coming up on the news headings. So first of all, um, locking in a new job now might be a good idea while unemployment is at an all time low. Now's the time to it's a buyer's market, it's a job buyer's market, so it's a good time to look for a new job if you're looking for one or start a new business um, before any sort of weird recession hits because then it'll be a lot harder then. Uh, cashing in on the housing boom. Uh, right now the, the housing market has been really hot and mortgage rates are starting to climb though and now might be a good time to sell a home if um, you're sitting on something that, if you're, if you're like making a decision thinking about bought, selling something, now might be um, a good time with uh, with things that are really hot in the market right now, especially if the recession hits, you know you might have to take uh, you might take a loss. Um, having you know covering your emer having some emergency funds for the next few months, something liquid that's available, um, ready to go in case there is an emergency or if with a job loss or something like that. Um, of course, don't trade on headlines. Trading on headlines is you know some of these headlines now are getting really they can be quite unnerving like whenever you see the word nuclear um, things like that so not getting emotional um, another thing that of course is um, having investments this is like a key one for me I, I make sure I always invest slowly like if I have a, a lump of money um, I don't just invest plump it all down all at once uh, I'll spread it out slowly over a period of time or months or weeks to take so you can dollar cost average and take advantage of uh, declining markets and that way you can actually get stuff on discount um, and of course I always try to have at least 30 percent of my portfolio in cash in case there's a there is something drastic that happens in the market goes down you can take advantage turn it into opportunity and take advantage of the decli rapid decline by averaging down and getting a better price. So that would be a few tidbits of things that I personally look at when I'm trying to protect my money in a bear market. So there you go.